there, coach. Three points at home. What'd you what'd you see out there? Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's always good, you know, to beat those guys. Uh, they're a rival, and um, the boys, you know, got up for this game. Uh, we talked about getting out and getting an early one, and we were able to do that with the PK. But then I thought for the next 20 minutes or so, we kind of took the foot off, our foot off the pedal, so to speak. And um, you know, it's. It's, it, it, it is what it is, you know. They, they were fighting too, they were competing. So but we went in at halftime and talked about, you know, getting out and, and you know, getting another one and maybe really putting them out, out of reach. But, you know, credit to them, they came out and they, they, they gave us a battle in the second half. I mean, up to the last whistle, I thought they, they fought and they pushed and, and they gave us, you know, a good fight. But, you know, we're happy uh, to finish uh, uh, victorious tonight. You know, I thought our guys were a bit tired tonight. It's been, you know, about six, seven games in the last 30 days or so. So I think it might have caught up to us a little bit tonight. You know, we, we have the weekend planned off for them. So to rejuvenate a little bit and come back on Monday and start preparing for the next game. But I think uh, a lot of these guys have never really played, you know, that many games in, in that you know little amount of days at this intensity, at this level. So I think it caught up to us a little bit. Now, hopefully Chenkov is not too injured. Uh, we could have him back for next week. but. All in all, it was a good game. You know, we won the game. We, uh, we have some things that we have to sort out, especially on the defensive marking on like free kicks on our corners and stuff like that. They got loose a couple of times on free headers that, you know, even on crosses during the runoff play. We got to work on those stuff uh, next week heading into San Antonio. Two more goals for, for Para tonight. I think that's three on the year for him. What have you made of uh, how he's played so far this year? Well, yeah, he's been well. You know, he's one of our older players at 22, 23 years old. So we expect him to be a leader out there. That's why. He, why he's on the pitch, uh, with, along with his, his quality. Um, it's interesting, the goal he scored, we talked about that at, at halftime, about the weak side winger pressing when that ball is switched to their center back and he put the pressure on uh, and got, you know, a goal. And, you know, they say, you can say it's luck, but, you know, that's from hard work. That's from him making that run as a weak side winger, trying to pressure the center back and kicks it off him into the back of the net and, you know, put us up to nothing. So he's been playing well. Uh, hopefully the goals keep coming for him and we continue to be successful. Uh, Osriel made his second appearance tonight. Uh, first of all, what did you think of how he performed? And two, what does it say about the confidence that you guys have in him that you know, 15-year-old is the first guy off the bench? Yeah, well, he's a very good player, you know. So we can't deny that, you know, regardless of age. You know, they say they're good players and they're bad players. You know, so um, you know he uh, came in. I thought, you know, the first time he got the ball, he took the right back on. You know, I told him specifically that the guy's on a yellow, mm -hmm. so to go at him, and he went at him, got a foul for us right outside the box. So. You know, I thought he did well. He pinched in defensively like we asked him to do. He didn't get on the ball much after that, but, you know, he, he's 15. Uh, he got <laughs> pushed around a little bit on a couple of those 50-50 uh, balls, but we expect that. You know, he's just, he's learning. You know, uh, he, he, when he gets a chance, he comes out and trains with us. So he's, he's, he's learning the physical part of the game because, you know, he is 15, but, you know, technically he's, he's just as good as what we have. You know, he's, he's a very good player. Where does a part of the second goal rank among the more, more bizarre goals you've seen? <laughs> well, <laughs> like I said, it was, it was him just working hard, pressuring that guy. And, you know, when you work hard, and, you know, things happen, you know, things happen. And uh, luckily for us, it went in the back of the net. I wanted to ask you, uh, I saw a little, you post a little video on Instagram of Olex. Uh, is there any like, update on how he's doing? Or what's well, he's, right? he's rehabbing. Uh, he's coming along. You know, he has a, a long-term injury that he's trying to come back from with the ACL tear. But, you know, he, he's, you know, a, a young player that's also, uh, you know, in the organization, so to speak. He's not really with the club, but he's, you know, he's here doing his rehab and stuff. And hopefully, you know, once he gets better, you know, he's back in the fold and, and we get another uh, speedy young winger. Uh, back into the organization, but uh, you know we we're looking forward to you know him coming back and being a part of the organization.